Hello guys, this is JJ on the Feed the Beast server, and I'm just doing a little tutorial on the sculpting part of the factorization mod. Been having a lot of fun with this mod lately, and so I thought I'd share it with the rest of you and tell you how to do it a bit, because it's kind of a hard thing to learn whenever you're doing it yourself, because there's not too many guides on it, and there's nothing in-game that really helps you with it. So I figured I'd throw this together just to show people how to do it. So let's get started. <coughs> Um, to get started with, I'll show you how to make the tools that you need. These are the five of them that you need for sculpting. To make them, you just take a stick, put it in your crafting area with a piece of clay, just a little ball of clay, and you get the move and stretch tool. Then you take that tool and you just put it back in your crafting grid and you get the rotate tool. Again, take that in your gr grid and you get the reset tool and one last time put that in your grid and you get the mold tool that's how you get these four tools disregarding the stretch tool and then again you can uh, go back to the move tool from the mold tool so if you accidentally make an extra one you can go back to the move or whatever tool you need to get the stretch tool you hold in shift and you right click any block that's not a sculpture and that'll change it into the um, stretch tool. Now the reason I made two of those instead of just having uh, the move tool and switching it back and forth is I find it easier just to uh, have both of them just so I can switch back and forth on my hotbar. I just find it easier that way. It's my personal preference. You don't have to do that. You can just have a move tool and switch it back and forth as you need it. So just chuck that out since I already have them. And now I'll show you how to use each of these tools. Um, to do that, you're going to need a uh, sculpture. So you just take a slab, you can use any slab, I'm just using jungle because it's what I had around, and a ball of clay on top of it, and that'll get you a sculpture. Then you place the sculpture. Now, the way I'm doing this is just my personal preference. You don't have to do it this way, I do it this way because um, with this little setup, just so that I can reach each side of the sculpture and it's just easier to reach everything that way because I can reach the top of it, I can go down and work under it because it can't extend below that wooden platform. And you don't, like I said, you don't have to do it this way. It's all up to you. It's just this is the way I find easiest. First, I'm going to start off with the move tool. Um, what you do is you select the face of the uh, block of clay and you right click it and it will move it one pixel towards you, like towards the side that you clicked. And if you look closely on the block, you'll see the little pixels here, and that's the distance that it moves at each time you right-click. And then if you hold Shift and right-click, it will push it away one pixel from the side that you clicked on. Just get back in the center there. And you can do that on the top, the bottom, any, any side you want. And even though you can't see the bottom through the platform, you can push it away and pull it from the bottom if you want, and like I said, it can extend past even, which is kind of silly, I don't know why the platform's there to begin with, but it can extend below the platform. And next is the stretch tool, which is one of the tools you'll be using most with the uh, sculpting. All you do is you right click that face, and it will stretch it one pixel towards the face that you clicked. It will stretch it towards it, and then Whenever you shift and right click, it'll push it in and subtract a pixel from that side. Again, you can do that on the on the top. You can push it down, stretch it. And like I said, you'll be using that a lot to get the various shapes and sizes that you need for the different pieces of your sculpture and everything. Next up is the rotate tool. With this tool, you just, whatever side you uh, right click on, it will rotate it clockwise with that face being the axis. Then if you shift, it'll rotate it counterclockwise with that face being the axis. Just like that. Again, you can do that on the top, bottom, whichever side you like. And then next is the reset tool. Let me just mess this up a little bit just so you can see what the reset tool does. Reset tool is for whenever you uh, 
messed up your sculpture or you don't like how it's turning out and you want to restart stuff like that and you right click it and it'll return it just to the regular block it'll take back any stretching any rotating any moving and it'll just be the regular sculpture again and then the mold tool I will show you after we're done with our first sculpture because that's for something after you're done and now you might be wondering what, what can we do with this one block of clay you can't really make anything special or spectacular out of that it's just one little block of clay well to fix that you take a piece of clay just a little ball of clay and you right click on any face and it will make another piece of the sculpture it's still all part of the same sculpture but you manipulate this piece by itself and it's a separate piece of the sculpture you can rotate this piece you can stretch it and say you don't like how this piece is turning out but you don't want to destroy the whole sculpture or reset the whole thing. You just select that piece with your cursor and break that piece and it will just break that piece off. And that's basically what all the tools do and what you can do with adding the extra pieces. And the max number of pieces you can have for a sculpture is 32 and that includes the original. So you can add on 31 pieces before it tells you it's too complex. So you can get pretty detailed with these sculptures, and at the end of the video I'll show you some of the ones that I've done so far. I've just done a few just to mess around with it, and whenever I got bored I would make one. I've been getting really into it, so I'm starting to make more and more as I go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a time lapse of a uh, sculpture so you can see how one's made. Uh, I won't make you sit through the whole thing, so I'm just going to speed it up uh, whenever I edit this. So here we go. And there you go, guys. That's my little time lapse of making a Hydra head. Um, next time, I will show you how to fire and color it. But I'm going to wait for a little bit. And, oh, that brings up a little thing that I forgot to tell you before. While you're sculpting, you'll see, as mine just did, it might the sculpture might turn white. And it won't let you work on it if that happens. Like if you see the clay is dry, use a water bucket. As it tells you, just go grab some water. Let me grab some real quick. Get over here some water. Just grab a little bucket of water. And just use it on any part. And the whole thing will become workable again. So I'll see you next time whenever I teach you how to fire and color it. 
Thanks for watching.